Hey guys, <laughs> it's your girl Secret D. I am driving home from this. Am I? I'm laughing because my hair looks crazy. I didn't put any product in it because I was in a rush, right? So I just brushed it and I didn't put anything in it and I ran out the house and now I just turned the camera on and I see how crazy I was walking around looking. But here we are. Um driving home after this MRI, right? This is gonna be the most random video ever. But let me just tell you how I forgot how annoying nipple piercings are, right? So when you go for an MRI, for anyone who does not know, you have to take out all metal things. So that's piercings, if you have like stuff in your hair, like clips, if you have an underwire bra, you gotta take it off, had to take off my watch and all this good stuff, right? So first of all, let me tell y'all how I forgot about the metal clips in my wig. So your girl was over there in the bathroom with her freaking keys, um, using the keys to cut the thread on the combs to take the combs out the wig because I definitely was not taking out this wig take it off this wig to look even crazier in these people place so I went to the bathroom and cut the metal out the um, cut the combs out the wig right and then it was for my ankle <coughs> so I was only in the machine from like my thighs so I probably didn't have to do all that so I was doing the most for no reason but it's me so who's surprised Anyway, back to the conversation at hand, right? So I had to take out my piercing here. This one I actually have in, which thankfully I'm gonna take it out. Um, this one is from the last MRI where I had a, um, the plastic put in and I just never took it out because I knew I had to go back for another MRI and I did not wanna be bothered with going back and forth, back and forth. So I left the plastic put in, but now we can take it out and put my regular joint back. So, I went to change my nipple jewelry. So, what happened last time was when I switched out my nipple rings, the ones that I had were too small. So, my smart behind didn't realize they were too small. And I switched them out like a whole day before, right? And when I tell you I was in so much pain by the end of the MRI the next day because they were like squeezing and the shit was uncomfortable right so i got them pierced in january of last year it's not my first time getting them pierced it's not my second time getting them pierced it's actually my third time having them pierced right so you would think that i know but i feel like our mind has a way of forgetting shit and long story short are these shits ever gonna heal like come on now I know I can't be the only one because every time I talk to somebody about nipple piercings, they all say the same thing. They never heal, this, that, and the third. So, is there anybody on this planet who has healed nipple piercings? If so, let me know because what did you do? Because I feel like I've had my nipples pierced in every stage of my life and in every stage of my life, they've been a pain in the ass to the point where I end up taking them out. And I feel like I always that always happens i take them out and then i'm like i miss them then i go get them back and i have to deal with this bullshit so and the first time i got my nipple pierced i was like 19 i got one side pierced because i was making a statement then um someone i know wanted to get their nipples pierced and they want me to go with them so i'm like boom let's go so then she was like she's not getting hers done unless i get my other one done so i'm like yeah this shit's in her fine but the difference between me the second time and me the first time is the first time I was hype I had the adrenaline going I was ready right second time I was just expecting to accompany her I didn't think I was getting pissed so the second time that shit hurt like a mofo okay so I was in pain right so then I kept them I think I took them out before I had my first child I think so um, because I don't remember them being around for breastfeeding so I don't think there was too much of an issue there um, 
then the second time okay hold on my car is going where it's not supposed to be all right whatever the second time i got the pierce was after i had my second son um and i want to say it was like a couple months after no it was after i breastfed so i want to say like a year it was it maybe like a year because he breastfed for like nine months so we're gonna say about a year after i had him i got them pierced the second time and then excuse me and then i ended up taking them out because they were annoying um about three or four years later and then I just got them redone last January 2022. And they're still not healing. Just now, not, well, earlier when I changed the um, ring, they were bleeding. So I'm just like, bro, when is this ever going to stop? I don't abuse them. I mean, like, it's been a year. So... I feel like, they, I don't know if I'm making it to the end of year two, y'all, because I'm already annoyed. And I think I'm annoyed because I have these appointments and all this good stuff already, you know what I mean? But I haven't even, like, put any of the cute rings in or anything yet, so I don't know. I'm going to see how that goes, but as far as I know right now, I don't think they're going to last, but all right, y'all, that's it. Somebody, if y'all have an answer, let me know how y'all dealt with your nipple rings and let me know if they ever healed because I feel like that's a myth. I think they're just never going to heal because in all my memories of having my nipples pierced, I don't really feel like they ever healed. So it can't just be me. Somebody, let me 